Thank you yet again. Um, we are here in Nairobi, Kenya, at the Regional Center for Mapping of Resources for Development, RCMRD in short. This is a regional center owned by 20 African countries, um, led by ministries in those countries which are responsible for land management in their respective uh, countries. Today we have a, a project that I've just uh, performed, it's groundbreaking, where we are building the hostels. As the governing council, the governing council being a structure that is made up of all the permanent secretaries or principal secretaries or director general, whatever they are called in the countries, um, where we are here on our annual meeting, but we decided to do also the groundbreaking for this project, which is the construction of hostels. Um, as you might be aware, the regional center is also a training institute for uh, experts or those uh, with the skills or want to acquire skills or improve their skills in issues of land management, issues around geospatial uh, data and so on and so forth. So this, um, the hostels that are being constructed here, the project is uh, 18 months. Um, they've just uh, started, so by 2023, the project should be up and running. It was awarded to Polish uh, contractors and Polish contractors, we've worked with them as the regional center in the construction of uh, the headquarters, the building uh, uh, behind you, uh, gentlemen. And the procurement process uh, was thorough, um, following every process uh, expected and they came out uh, victorious. Therefore, having delivered that massive and beautiful structure behind us on time, to cost, and to the expected quality, we are very confident that they will do the same, even this time around, that the hostels will be delivered on the agreed amount, under the agreed time, and they will give us the product uh, that we want as the regional centre. It is... Uh, it is uh, important for us as the governing council and of course the council of ministers which is a structure above us made up of uh, the ministers in those 20 countries that this uh, project is completed on time because it is going to save us costs currently one might ask or even wonder where the 800 and plus students who are here in uh, our training school where do they lodge? They are all over in Nairobi, and they, we found it fit and cost-benefit, uh, beneficial to have our own uh, accommodation for our own students, um, where they can pay a little fee, and uh, that goes back into the coffers of the center. It will help us to run the center better, and even introduce some services or even uh, more packages when it comes to training that we have not been doing and be able to see um, the foot of the center um, going further than it has been uh, uh, going. We have countries which are not yet members and we really want them to be part of us. If we have more resources, we can be able to even go to their countries and offer those services uh, free so that they can learn and uh, understand what the center is all about and what they can benefit from it if they do uh, become members. The construction, um, as I said, that is made up of uh, 20 uh, countries. We have uh, annual subscriptions um, as members and the construction or the, the funding of uh, the contract is from um, those uh, subscriptions. And we are happy with the, the way the centre is being run uh, at the moment under the current uh, DG, um, that they are running it uh, prudently, um, that uh, even from their savings, they are able to uh, provide some sort of uh, funding to, to the project. And this is what we want to see the centre being like in the future, where it can be in, independent and, you know, more 
from the annual subscriptions, but be able to um, produce or have money on their own that they can use without it depending on the subscriptions. And I do believe that's where we are going. There are more projects coming.